Right, I suppose the next thing I want to do is refit out this. I've got a new quartz UV sleeve and a new bowl for the for this Dell Tech 39 watt UV sterilizer. Um, carelessness broke the last sleeve, but um, when I took it out, it was absolutely covered in lime scale with very hard water here which is part of the reason for my oro water added to the discus aquarium that's that's been dripped in but it did show me that this system is seriously fallible and i do need to ensure what I was saying there is that I make sure I maintain it, I clean it. So, let's do this carefully. getting panicked for nothing and um, awesome great okay well that's that's that guy and um, we'll put that back on holly sharp right so great Sleeves in, that's in place. Whew. Okay. Um, next is the bulb. Um, okay. No touching the bulb. So I'm going to open that from the other end. Apparently putting your fingers on these bulbs damages them. So I intend to not do that if I can. So I'll leave the cardboard sleeve over it so I can hold on to that. And little four pin plug. Seems to be connected to that. So that's one sleeve off, two sleeves off. So with this held carefully, this is all bloody expensive stuff. say I did break the last sleeve um, but that was it was repeatedly dropped while it was sitting in the sump unused and um, so gas breaks and um, so we do need to be careful with it but that's the bulb replaced so now this is this back together this they say in all the instructions and manuals that it's supposed to be vertical. I don't know too many soaps that are more than a metre tall, but to me that's going to be vertical enough. Um, it's, yeah, but I think we're going to have the pump coming in at the bottom, from the pump from here, and through a pipe that's I don't have it a second, but I'll get tomorrow maybe. Um, and <coughs> going in down the bottom and then returning in here. So it'll be taken from the sump um, just as it returns to from the aquarium water 
and then it'll be going back into the end one just before the pump and they're separated by the glass baffles so that basically what I'm saying is I won't be double purifying the water it'll go through once up into the tank and it'll keep circulating and I won't be I'll be maximizing the efficiency of the unit so it's just a matter of putting a couple of screws in to these holes at this stage to um, to hold the thing in place and that's it okay So I have that in place with three screws that can hold it from, from over moving and the tubing that goes from, from the unit into the aquarium is a bit small so I'm just heating it up in boiling water, softening up I suppose the latex rubber maybe and this allows me to so, doing this here, yeah. it's getting there, getting the structure in. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use three of these, maybe two, we'll see, to go into the wood and the sump. Not too far, because I don't want to point out the aquarium. I suppose you want to see that when you can't from there. Um, so yeah, so as you can see, the first one is in place. I'm going to try and get this to grip to. This is maybe six mil, five mil um, plywood. So there's enough to enough to form a grip. Yes. Right. I'm able to put in the entire thread. I have it measured. Oh. Well gripped. Okay, so that's the line it's gonna follow. So the way it tight are cable ties we call them here in Ireland. behind that woodwork there and come into the sump back here I think it probably can I think that's probably my best route for it so down here now so now that's it so it's just a matter of siding the length of pipe needed. Yeah, so we'll just check for length. Approximately this length here will get me to close to the bottom of the tank, which is all we need. Yeah, so we'll pop that down the back. And she can head home there. is in place so that's another piece of equipment now ready to switch on and let's chase the cable messing nearly over messing nearly over there's the plug this so we'll pop him in there. And 
make sure that the fuel here is to fill. So that's the fuel here is filling up. Yeah. So that's my UV filter in place and going. They say to put them vertical. It's vertical. Um, it's rated for 2,000 litres an hour. It's a 2,000 litre per hour pump. So basically it's absolutely optimised um, for, I suppose, it's best performance usage. Um, it's rated for 2,000 litres an hour with the 2,000 litre an hour pump. It means that it's working at maximum efficiency. It's brand new. Um, as I said in the start of the video, um, the calcium does become a problem as I discovered when I when I broke the old sleeve. Basically with the heat of the bulb um, the calcium in the water, the yeah I suppose the calcium in the water for want of a better way of describing it, um, attaches and coats the sleeve, the glass sleeve inside the, the UV filter. So every two months or so I'm gonna have to take that out and clean it, clean it off. I'll probably use I don't know, some sort of a, a, a lime scale remover or, or, or some such thing. Um, then, so basically all that's left to do at this stage is switch on the UV light. Um, I don't know, can you just about see there? There is a light coming out of that. But that's fully working now, so it'll have about four days of running empty so anything that may be in the tank which there isn't because it's a brand new tank it's a brand new system with with just clean water going into it but still it has a week that it's it's going to sit well certainly four or five days it's going to sit without without fish so that's that's the uv fully installed and ready to go um, I suppose on with the next projects.